Hey everybody my name is Sali Ali and welcome to Sali Tutorials. Today we're gonna take a look at different tips and tricks that are going to help you edit faster and film more ex- Alright, number 10 that I want to share with you is close gap. Add video to timeline. Now I split the video to make you understand and create a gap by splitting the video into a few parts. Usually we close the gap between some videos like this but this is the wrong and difficult way. Select the video clips between which you want to close the gap and right click the mouse. Click on close gap. Or select the video clips and press the shortcut from the keyboard. The shortcut is Alt plus delete. Number 9 is speed. Often when we need to change the speed so we go to the change speed tool and change the speed but it is also a long process. Take advantage of tips and tricks that most people don't know. You can hold the left click of the mouse while pressing the control button and increase or decrease the video speed. You can see the video speed has gone fast. If you want to slow down, drag the video to the right. The video has slowed down. And if you want to reset the speed level, it is normalized from here click on normal. Number 8 is blind and mute. Use blend mode and mute mode in your videos and learn its benefits today. If I click on the eye of the video layer above, this video will not appear on the display screen. You can see that the video of the second layer is displayed and the video of the top layer is not visible. And if you want to mute the sound or music, etc., click on mute here. And if you want to watch the video of the top layer, check the blended mode of the top layer. Number 7 is Timeline Zoom. Sometimes our project has such small clips that it is very difficult to click or move to another place, so for this, clicking on the plus sign above will zoom the timeline and the small clip will look bigger. And clicking the minus button will make the timeline look smaller. And clicking on this button will fit the timeline. Number 6 is Add Freeze Frame. You can show your favorite scene by freezing a video to let viewers know your idea easily. Right click on video and go to add freeze frame. Click on add freeze frame. From here you can increase or decrease the freeze frame duration. Or press alt plus F to create another freeze frame. Number 5 is multiple image durations at once. Often we forget or we don't know that we set the duration for each image and a lot of time is wasted. But let me remind you. Select all images and click on the setting duration. Here you can increase or decrease the duration. You see, I changed the duration of all the images at once. Number 4 is display setting. Sometimes we need to zoom out or zoom the display level. You can use this feature. This is a great feature in Filmora. Clicking on this box with the mouse arrow will move the display. You can see something better by changing the level of the display from here. Number 3 is use of countdown. There are many types of counting clips. You can download with double click. Split it after each count.
You can now add an image or a video clip after each count, when you need it. Now all these images have been numbered. Number 2 is group and ungroup. After adding the timeline, I split it into three parts and group it separately. You can see, I group by different types. Like landscape and portrait etc. Number 1 is border effect. Usually we only apply the border effect but do not know its setting. Go to effects and apply the border effect to the video. Then double click on video. And open border settings and video effects. From here you can change the color of the border and adjust the size, blurring, opacity and direction of the border. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it make sure of course you subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications. See you again with a new video thank you.